Hey everybody, it's Bruce. In this video I'm going to show you how I made this gift box. As I was doing my test cuts, I kept finding that the blade was getting slightly lower all by itself. So I rigged up this twist tie magnet to stop it. Seems to have worked, but I'm going to have to do something about that. Here I tried using some masking tape to avoid chip out, but it didn't completely work because I still ended up with some chip out. I made this box joint cutting jig just for this project. It was actually pretty easy to make and it, mine turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it and it's very simple. At least one side of one side of my box, I messed the uh, joints up a little bit and they were uh, maybe a millimeter or two millimeters too far over and you can see here I'm having some trouble getting the whole thing lined up. In the end I was just able to kind of file it a little bit and just force it into place and it worked out okay. Here I'm just making the marks so I can uh, cut the groove out for the lid. Well, I cut the bottom piece just a little bit big because I can always sand it down. I thought this flower print looked cool. This is the Edelweiss flower. You can find these flowers up in the high mountains at like 2,500 meters in the, at least the European Alps. I don't know where else in the world you might be able to find them, but actually to tell you the truth, I've never seen one in the wild myself, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to hopefully see one someday out there. I saw some YouTube videos where Steve Ramsey was using red wine as a dye, so I thought I'd give that a try since I had some sitting around anyway. And actually I think it turned out pretty good.
as you can see here I haven't been able to get like this dark discoloration out of the corners even after sanding so I think what I'm going to do is just try to paint the inside white Well, the paint is mostly dry, and I think that came out pretty nice with the white inside. Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. Alright, bye.